Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. It's Monday and it is 27 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> and we live in Prescott, <laughs> which is like a, it's like a lower northern Arizona city. <laughs> um, it's October 30th. It's the day before Halloween. Cash, are you excited for Halloween? Yeah. <coughs> My voice sounds all icky because we slept with the window and the fan on. The window open and the fan on. So it was nice and cold in our room. Which was really difficult to get out of bed this morning. How about you? Were you cold last night or warm? Warm. You had lots of blankets on, huh? And your fan was on but your window wasn't open, huh? <coughs> Anyways, it is the day before Halloween. Um, we are heading to school at 6.47 in the morning, and it's real cold. And that's okay. We're excited. We have lived in the Queen Creek Valley area, which is like Phoenix, for the last five years. And down there, we don't get fall. We get summer and fall. Um, and the fall does not... It's not real fall. <clears throat> it's just... It's just... Meh. It's just cold. It's just cold for like two weeks and then it warms back up and then it's done. But here in Prescott, we get all four seasons and they're beautiful and we get to enjoy them. <coughs> Including the sicknesses that come with them. I don't know why Green Creek is so hot every time. Well, it's just hot there, baby. It's the desert. The desert of life. The desert of life, exactly. So um, today at school, um, I'm going to be setting up for a haunted scavenger hunt, which is like a super duper easy day. It takes so little time to set up and it takes so little time to do. Um, basically I print out, um, a series of 20 cards and I get them from superteachers.com. So for next year, if you're planning a Halloween thing, like, and you just want to do something kind of fun, um, it comes with like 20 cards that just kind of give you like Halloween facts, like arachnophobia is the fear of spiders. And um, pump, there are blank, 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 many pumpkins sold each year. Like it just gives you facts about Halloween. And then the kids have to answer a specific question based on the cards. So it's basically like a task card activity. However, how I do it is I hide them around the room out of plain sight so they can't just see them from like plain view. And then I completely black out the room <clears throat> with either black trash bags or black butcher paper. And then I put like little tea lights around and I do like spooky sounds and like a haunted house on the TV. And they have to bring a flashlight in to use to be able to read the cards and then answer the questions. And as they answer the questions, when they finish, if they get them all right, they get a piece of candy. Um, so... It's just kind of a fun activity to do when, like, energy's high because it's almost Halloween. In fact, I used to do this on Halloween, um, but our Halloween in our district is a PD day. They do it on purpose to let the kids out early, which is really cool. The kids get out at 1120 in the afternoon, and then teachers go to a professional development day um, until 3, 3.30. So it's a really nice way to get the little kids out and to be with their families on Halloween. Um, so anyway, we won't really have time for any of that tomorrow on Halloween. Happy Tuesday. So today is Halloween um, and my kids are at specials. We just did our like costume parade, which was so fun. 
Um, we got to parade around the whole school and show off our costumes and cheer for all of the other costumes. And it was just a really good time. Um, I am Miss Frizzle for obvious reasons. Um, but today is like a super short day. We are only in school until 11.20. And so um, between specials and recess, we're really only in the classroom for like an hour and a half. So this morning we started out the day by just watching The Nightmare Before Christmas. We got permission slips signed, brought in. Um, and then after recess, which is what's coming next, we will do a little bit of a lunch party. So we have like snacks and popcorn. Um, and the kids will just pull out their normal lunch and then they can come up and get like snacks and treats. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then the rest of today um, is PD day for teachers. Um, and it is gonna be hosted at our school. So we will have um, all of the elementary teachers from the district coming here um, and we'll be breaking up into collaborative teams. So I'm assuming I'll be working with, I usually go with the ELA group um, because I teach social studies, but um, we will see. So I'm kind of perplexed. I'm, I'm looking at my calendar and trying to plan out the rest of the quarter. And what I'm going to probably do is focus on science Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then focus on social studies Thursdays and Fridays. And that is because I want to be able to completely fit in everything that I want to do for the rest of the quarter. I'm finishing up my energy unit this quarter. Next quarter, I will do earth science. So we'll do erosion, weathering, um, rocks, um, earthquakes, all of that. And so I just want to utilize the quarter as best I can and then do a small social studies unit. Um, and I'm going to be doing Mesoamerica again. And I'm trying to decide, maybe you guys can help me because I do have like two weeks until I actually start doing social studies because we have so many weird, like, like next week we have Veterans Day. So we're off Thursday, Friday. Um, and so we only have three days of school that week. And then after that, we have Thanksgiving, which is another two day week. And so I'm trying to decide if I want to do a paper version of, so this is the resource. Let me just turn you around. Okay, so this is the resource. I have it, I purchased it from TPT. It's by, um, uh, I forget, Student Savvy. Yeah, Student Savvy's Mesoamerica PowerPoint. And it comes with a bunch of different things. So you can do a digital um, interactive notebook, which I might end up doing. I'm not positive. This might be a better way to track everybody, like just to make sure that they don't lose stuff and it will save paper. Um, or I can do it where all the students have access to this virtual experience and then they do like, um, an interactive notebook um, on paper. I don't know, I'm kind of in between, like I wanna make them this, but it's also gonna be a lot of cutting and gluing. And whereas this is more just typing, which I know isn't as like in the moment, but I feel like it would save time. And since I'm only doing social studies two days a week, what I could do is I could present this one, this version, um, and then they, would complete this version on their own um, and we would only do this two days a week so you know we would go through each of these pages um, and then they would just turn this in at the end and I would throw in some other things like I like doing the Mayan like I like doing like the role play stuff where we like write a narrative a day in the life of a Mayan person um, I just don't want it to be boring, um, but it is just two days a week, so we'll see. Um, I feel like this would just be a really easy way to like incorporate it if I'm just doing it two days a week, um, and then potentially have them do like a narrative at the end, like a day in the life of, and they could choose a Mayan or an Aztec um, or an Inca person and then watch the road to El Dorado. Um, so this will take us pretty much all the way up until Christmas break, um, which would end, that would be, we'd have to finish like the 20th of December because then I would wanna have all my grades in and done. So I'm contemplating doing this or I can easily use our 
social studies curriculum, which is digital. Um, it's just a lot more like reading, which wouldn't be bad, but also has them like mapping. Um, and it goes into, like it has a lesson on the Maya. Um, but again, it's a lot of reading, uh, slideshow, video, more reading. Um, looks like there's some vocabulary games and some notebook stuff. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to keep looking through this. I have, like I said, I have a couple of weeks before I decide. I feel like this would be more engaging. Um, and this would be a little bit more... I don't know. I feel like trying to use this, this one, like it's my first time using it. I don't know. I should probably just explore it a little bit more. This I've done for the last like four years. So I know how this works. Um, I know the best way to deliver it and it might just be easier for me to do this. Um, plus it's all on Google Classroom. So if a kid's like missing a page, I can just have them go do it rather than them fiddling around with the paper one. So I think I'm going to, I'll probably end up doing this one, uh, the digital notebook, but I'll probably go through and delete a couple of slides. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then I'll throw, like I said, some other little things in between, like depending on how quickly we go. Um, so yeah, these are all the things to consider. Um, so realistically, if I do this, I'll have two potentially like so I'm mapping myself out for having two to three days for each mystery science lesson that I'm going to do. Eight days, maybe more, to complete the unit, which I feel like if I was going to do, like in the past, I've done this unit for like two weeks-ish, so I feel like it should be fine. I should have plenty of time, um, and, you know, hopefully. Um, like I said, I've I've mapped out, like, like for this week, I have lesson five teetering between two days. If we finish it in two days, um, if I use the two days and I finish in two days, then great, done. If I need the third day for science, great, I can use it. But if we finish on time, then I could easily start doing the social studies on Wednesday. Um, and then, you know, fill in the gaps on Friday. So it just kind of depends on how it goes. I mean, if I if I schedule it for two days, then at least I know how much time I have. And then if I have more time um, or whatever, I can always, like, throw it in here. Or I could always use Wednesday for, like, an alternative activity. Like, I could do, like, task cards or, like, model buildings or projects on Wednesdays that are related to science or social studies. So um, I think that this will be a great way to kind of split them up rather than doing like a couple more weeks of science and just like trying to rush through it um, and then trying to do social studies at the end. So I think I'm going to just do that and call it a day. Why don't we climb these rocks up here? All right, guys. So it is Thursday evening. <laughs> what? A lizard? No, I catch it. Um, we just, Cash and I just left school. I had tutoring. Um, and we came to the property. This is our land. Um, we're meeting here to, that looks suspicious. We're meeting here to put our address sign up because we're going to start having subs coming here in the next couple days to start um, breaking ground on building our house. Um, Scott and I would really like to start doing like a family vlog. Uh, we have a channel, it's called Apples in the Badge, um, and it'll be linked down below. It's also in my other channels. Um, but we want to start documenting like the process of building a house and all of that. Mom, what? No, there's No, smell. I touched it. Hmm. Weird. So anyway, this is our land. Let me turn you guys around and show it to you. Looks like this. I'm standing in what will be our driveway. And the streets up there. Our driveway will actually come down this way. 
then this will all be like parking space. And then our garage will probably start about here. And then all of this will be house. And then our backyard will be really little, but we'll have a nice big side yard, so. Are you getting cold? I have a coat for you in the car. Yeah, yeah this is our land. Um, I don't want to go down there. No, I mean just go and yeah. see. Yeah, let's go see. Yeah. Down the gopher hole? Yeah. Nope. Not doing it. This reminds me of the camp out. I was trying to pound stuff into the ground for the tent. Bigger ones, honey. As big as you can carry without dropping it on your foot. Drill it some more, honey. Try it again. It's only going so Worth a shot. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get bigger rocks. That'll do, donkey. Maybe ain't going anywhere. Okay, Cash, you want to screw no, it in there? It over there? No, it's fine. It's fine where it is, baby. Put the little rocks in, too, Cash. See those Put the little rocks in. in. Turn them all around close to the sticks. No, up here. Up close to the sticks. All right, you guys, we have made it to Friday. <laughs> Um, today we're doing some mystery science um, challenges with the Energize Everything unit. And it is the day that the kids create the spinomatic, um, the twistomatic, sorry. Um, unfortunately, because it's Friday, we didn't have enough time to really finish it. So I have half a mind to only go through a little bit with my other two classes and then have them do the lab on Monday just so that everybody's in the right place. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath. Um, but anyways, it's going great so far, good morning. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a bump date. So we are 20 weeks on Sunday and little man is growing a lot. I actually just scored like a ton of maternity clothes from a girlfriend of mine. Um, she and her sister-in-law both just wrapped up a few pregnancies and they gave me two huge bags full pants, leggings, t-shirts, tank tops, long sleeves, sweatshirts. It's like, oh my gosh, you guys saved my life. Like the amount of money I would be spending on maternity clothes is like, it's zero now. So I'm just really excited um, that I don't have to spend all that money on those because they jack up those prices so much because they know that pregnant women have to buy them. Like there, there's no getting out of it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm sitting at my desk. They're at specials right now. I have about 25 minutes left. And I'm just gonna enter some scores um, into my grade book. And then I am working on my schedule, my agenda slides for next week. Next week is only a three day week because of Veterans Day. It's really cool. They give us Thursday off for PD day and then Friday off for veterans day. So technically like we only work Thursday and we're just going to be grading, um, some writing assessments. And then we are actually going to Disneyland for Cash's birthday because his birthday is on Wednesday next week. So that's super exciting. Um, we'll probably do a Disney vlog on our family channel and, um, yeah, so it's been a great week so far. I feel like this week I finally have like hit my groove and I think it's because I decided to just go ahead and use mystery science, something I'm used to using because it's so easy. It's so user friendly. Um, and I just feel really good about it. I don't feel stressed. I don't feel rushed. Um, so I think it's going to be really good.